Hey guys, Five Shot here, and here is my Assassination Rogue Burst tutorial. This combo is apparently not widely known. Uh, I know not a lot of people play Assassination for PvP, but those who do obviously do not know about this combo, or don't think it's good enough to use, or maybe not, you know, nobody's really thought of it. But it seemed plainly obvious to me, and that's why I use it, and it's pretty damn effective. So, uh, this basically is two major components. Uh, with the Deathly Shadows memoried legendary and the talent called Master Assassin. It involves a couple other things that you do, but those are the two main components. So, without further ado, here is my tutorial. Alright, now let's start with talents. For the first row, Master Poisoner is great. You can definitely go with this, it doesn't really make or break it. Uh, most people do that play assassination. It really only affects deadly poisons damage by a bit and does nothing for Invenom. It is great all around, but what I like is getting a little bit more burst in my opening combo there and elaborate planning. This uh, does 10% bonus damage following finishing moves. And our damage combo is based around hitting a kidney into a vanish, so this will help our combo. Row 2, Master Assassin is required for this burst combo. It is one of the two key components, but just look at how many people do not take this talent. It's such a shame they haven't figured this build out yet. Now, normally Subterfuge is obviously a great choice. Without a doubt, it gives you so many tools, but the glory days of assassination, Wrath of the Lich King onwards, you know, following buffs, nerfs, whatever. In its glory days, assassination had damage at the forefront, and we're doing just that. We have a pretty insane damage peak right out of our opener. Row 3, Marked for Death. This is a no-brainer. Most people take this as utility, but what's most important to us is that it helps set up the combo. Elusiveness. Uh, this is a great choice. Basically, you have a little bit of damage reduction on a short cooldown. Uh, cheat Death you could also do. This doesn't make or break our combo, but if you don't want to think about things, you can take Cheat Death, but I like having elusiveness. Row 5, Prey on the Weak. I really like this because it's another 10% damage while the guy is either cheap shot or kidney shotted. So for this to work, uh, the guy has to stay in the stun. Um, internal bleeding receives the bonuses from our damage combo, and the guy doesn't have to stay in kidney shot. So this I actually recommend more, but if you want to have fun and, you know, if the guy's not expecting it, this is, oh, it's so, mm, so good. Uh, Venom Rush for row 6 for sure. Alacrity, most people take this. Basically, it gives a ramp up haste buff that can last forever. While this is great, we're looking to boost the small short fights, so I prefer Venom Rush, and it gives a little bit of extra energy during the burst sequence. Poison Bomb for the last row, the other two suck ass. And now my PvP talents, maneuverability. I love maneuverability, makes my sprint break roots and slows. Hemotoxin, it's basically a 40% MS for 9 seconds. Uh, smoke Bomb, of course, to prevent either range from attacking you while you're doing a burst combo into the healer or to prevent the healer from healing somebody that you're burst comboing uh, themselves. So you can use that as a part of the combo as well. The stats I go for, haste versatility mostly, weapon enchants, sinful revelation, and celestial guidance, of course. And now what is our damage combo? The Deathly Shadows makes Vanish grant 5 combo points and increases your damage dealt by 15%. Now what I would do here, since it adds 5 combo points, is on your stealth bar I would add in Venom. Because when you do the damage combo you Vanish, you get 5 combo points, you don't really want to... I mean you can put it on a cheap shot if the guy trinkets the kidney. So, um, it, it, you're basically giving yourself options here if you put in Venom on your bar. This basically eats through bear form. It eats through a lot of defensive cooldowns. Okay, so guys, remember Venomous Wounds. You get 8 energy every single time. Garota Rupture deal bleed damage to a poison target. Shiv, which is critical for this, because Shiv increases your nature damage against the target by 20% for 9 seconds. This includes uh, Envenoms and Poison Bombs. Kidney Shot dumps your, your uh, combo points so that you clear your combo points into the Vanish, which gives you all the combo points back. And that starts your insane damage with the uh, the legendary effect, and then the legendary effect giving you that 12 second damage boost combined with Master Assassin while stealth is active or shortly after breaking stealth. Those increased damages are basically all crits, and obviously during this uh, combo here, you'll want to hit your trinket 
whatever you know damage boosting ability you have within your trinket or uh, maybe blood fury something like that I have a macro here anytime at the beginning of your uh, combo here PvP trinket and slash cast blood fury they're both off the global cooldown they'll both happen at the same time so here's the rotation you do cheap shot or garrote uh, right into the rupture you want to get those venomous wounds going immediately hit vendetta and your trinket or racial hit the uh, covenant ability uh, into a shiv and then mutilate to get five combo points kidney uh, into vanish uh, directly into the five point in venom and then mark for death again into another five point in venom your target should be dead combining all we know now let's see the damage combo in action there it is there you have it folks hope you've enjoyed this tutorial guys uh, if you have any more questions let me know and uh, enjoy some more clips of my burst combo heater in action have a good one yeah that's how you do it There's no escaping my burst combo.